What is the SMAS? Anyone researching procedures for facial rejuvenation, such as face of surgery, will invariably come across terms such as deep plane and SMAS. So what is the SMAS? The word SMAS is an acronym for the superficial musculoaponeurotic system, which is a very important anatomic structure in the performance of facelift surgery. I'll discuss the definition of the SMAS and how cosmetic procedures are performed with the SMAS in order to rejuvenate the face. I'm Dr. Amiya Prasad. I'm a diplomat of the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery and a fellowship-trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in New York City and Long Island for over 25 years. I perform all types of facelift surgery, including deep plane facelifts and a range of SMAS facelifts. I also routinely perform a non-surgical procedure for hollow cheeks where I place hyaluronic acid filler below or under this mass. So this is an anatomical feature I have extensive experience working with. Patients will oftentimes ask if I tighten the muscle when I perform facelift surgery. The muscle that they are referring to is the SMAS. The SMAS is composed of fat and fibrous tissue, as well as thin muscles that extend from the eye area all the way down the neck into the platysma muscle. The SMAS can be thought of as an extension of the platysma muscle. These muscles that make up the SMAS support the facial skin. So working with the SMAS is an essential part of facial rejuvenation and facial cosmetic procedures. Operating on the SMAS is crucial for achieving enduring results when lifting the overlying skin during a facelift procedure. In contrast, procedures such as thread lifts and skin heating procedures do not have the skin supported by the SMAS elevation. These procedures may appear to have immediate aesthetic improvements, but the absence of tightening or working with the underlying support of the SMAS ultimately leads to the skin sagging and having less than optimal results. With the facelift procedure, whether employing deep plane or other SMAS-based methods, you can expect a duration of roughly five to 10 years for sustained results. The patient's age at the time of surgery, along with lifestyle choices, facial bone loss with age, and coexisting medical conditions do impact the outcomes of longevity. As I previously mentioned, I routinely perform a non-surgical treatment targeting hollow cheeks or loss of facial volume due to aging or weight fluctuations. This distinctive approach stands apart from the conventional cheek filler method, thereby avoiding the soft, doughy, and excessively pillowy look that looks so unnatural. Instead, I create a fuller, structured, and more youthful facial contour. Why is it so common to see even the most famous and wealthy have this overfilled and doughy appearance? This doughy result is so common because conventional filler placement is just below the surface of the skin, on top of the SMAS and other muscles. The skin and soft tissue layers where facial fillers are most often placed cannot maintain the intended shape of the filler placed regardless of how thick or viscous the filler being placed is. 
This causes the filler material to displace and migrate. This specific approach I mentioned involving filler beneath the SMAS is a natural extension of our structural volumizing technique where filler placement is at the bone structure level, resulting in improvement in facial definition and proportion. Although non-surgical, the technique originates from surgical experience in facelift and facial implant surgery. Whether it's a surgical facelift or non-surgical volume enhancement, working with the SMAS is invaluable for achieving the best results. I hope you found this information from my experience helpful. If you're interested in recommendations for your individual situation, you may contact us through our websites or call our offices to schedule a consultation. Thank you.